Psalm 51.10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. This was David's prayer as he confessed his sins to the Lord, and you'll find this prayer in Psalm 51, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit, a steadfast spirit, within me. Well, sin does defile the heart. And you may say, well, nobody could see that. David looked like he always looked. Oh, but the problem is when your heart is defiled, everything is defiled. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Solomon wrote that in the book of Proverbs. You turn on the faucet at home, and out comes dirty water. And so what do you do? You go down to the hardware store, you buy a brand new faucet, a more expensive one, you install it, you turn it on, and out comes dirty water. The problem is not the faucet. The problem is the source of the water. Now, Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The heart is the very center of our lives, and sin defiles the heart. This is why David confesses that everything about him was defiled. His eyes, my sin is ever before me. His ears, make me to hear joy and gladness. His heart, create in me a clean heart, O God. His spirit, his attitude, renew a right spirit within me. Everything was dirty because his heart was dirty. Now, sin not only defiles the heart, but sin weakens the spirit within all of us want to have an enthusiastic spirit, a steadfast spirit. Ah, but David was vacillating. Every time someone walked in, he wondered, what does he know about me? Whenever people were talking together in a corner, David would say, are they talking about me? That's a dirty conscience, a vacillating spirit. God can create a new heart. God can give a steadfast spirit. The answer, not excuses, but confession. We're so prone to excuse our sin. David confessed his sin, and God forgave him. Oh, yes, David had to pay dearly for his sin. He suffered the discipline of God. But God did wash his heart clean, and God did strengthen his spirit, and God created something new within.